Hi everybody, Jerry here from Hobby Wholesale. Thanks for joining us again today. Today we're going to introduce you to telescopes and most specifically the one we're going to talk about here is the Power Seeker 70 AZ. So this guy right here. Celestron is the brand of telescopes that we sell and we sell a wide range, everything from their power seekers up to the Sky Prodigy, for example, which is one of their uh, premier lines without going into the thousands of dollars. We do have access to some of their more expensive ones as well. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit larger, we can provide. But really Celestron offers a wide range of options for every budget and sort of every criteria that you're looking for. Uh, there are the manual telescopes, similar to this Power Seeker or the Astromaster. Astromaster being sort of a slightly higher level, um, but they do have other lines in addition to these that work with, say, your smartphone or in conjunction with them to allow you to find objects a little bit easier, uh, connect by Wi-Fi, that sort of thing. Um, and then they do have their computerized. Uh, with the manual ones, you do everything yourself. You set it up, you find the stuff in the sky, you point it where you want, and you look. Uh, with the computerized, like the Sky Prodigy, or for example, their Nexstar line, these ones have either, in most cases, a handheld uh, computerized unit, or as I mentioned, uh, their Astrofy line has uh, a Wi-Fi option where you connect it to your phone and control it via an app. And these allow you to find things by punching in coordinates or descriptions of the items. Uh, their computerized ones also offer something called Skyline, which will allow you to sort of figure out where you are looking based on three items that you pick within the sky. But again, we're going to come back to the Power Seeker here. Great option for people starting out. Uh, again, the Power Seeker is their entry level line, so it is a little less expensive simply because the materials aren't as fancy, that type of thing. Good option for someone that's sort of dipping in their toes and just trying to get a feel for uh, whether the astronomy thing works for them. The Power Seekers are available in a number of apertures, everywhere from 50 all the way up to 127 millimeter. So the aperture, when we talk about that, is the number listed in the name of the product. So in this case, the Power Seeker 70 talks about the aperture or the size of the opening at the end of the telescope. Uh, that's 70 millimeters. And that refers to the amount of light that gets to your eye, which in, in turn impacts the amount of items or detail that you can see when you're looking at something in the sky. Your typical telescope is going to come with the tube. In this case, this is called a refractor. So light travels all the way through to your eye. Um, some of the larger ones are called reflectors and they're a little bit shorter with a series of mirrors that reflect the light and allow you to see things that way. These ones are also going to include your tripod. So really everything you need is included in the box. The Power Seeker line typically offers uh, two different eyepieces as well, different sizes to allow you different magnifications and they will come with a Barlow lens. The Barlows are typically two times or three times magnification. The one that comes with these is a three times Barlow lens. So again, whatever magnification you're able to achieve with the uh, provided eyepieces, um, you can basically triple that using the Barlow lens. Really simple to put together, really simple to use. Uh, and as I mentioned, because it is more of an entry level and this one being a smaller aperture, you're not going to get the most visibility in terms of what you're going to be able to see. But for looking at the moon and looking at some stars and just trying to get a sense of whether astronomy works for you, perfect place to start. Uh, we do sell a line of accessories. So if you do want additional magnifications beyond what uh, is offered in the box, you can buy additional eyepieces either as sets or Celestron offers them individually. Uh, you also have the ability to uh, buy something called a T-ring and adapter that will allow you to attach an SLR camera. So if you are uh, into photography, those are accessories that we sell as well and they will allow you to connect your camera to the telescope to allow you to, uh, to just kind of broaden, I guess, the use and what you're able to achieve with it. Um, if you have any questions about the specifics of telescopes, it can get quite technical. Come on and see us or visit our website. Uh, give us a call if you have specific questions. If you like what you're seeing, we will certainly do our best to try and bring you more content. Just like and subscribe and we'll continue to do so. Thanks very much.